What race? Yo, is? what's going on, Pete? What's going on, Tucky? Hey, yo, listen. Not too much. Not too much. I mm -hmm. got somebody asking about uh the moonshine and shit, and like how to get the big steals or whatever. If you want, I like, don't. I don't know anything about any about that. I don't tell. Listen, outside of the crew, I don't talk to anybody about that. As far yeah, yeah, as they concerned, why, yeah, yeah. I don't want to volatile shit. Yeah, I don't want to. I, I don't want to drop your name. That's why I call you. It, I, oh, I was, you a legend. Yeah, you, I, you know exactly why, right? Because that motherfucker's blow my shit up and fucking grinder ass motherfucker. We're gonna talk to cop type shit. All of a sudden, on my on my dick cop shit. I would tell him peanut, like be like, uh, Tugs quit that shit a while ago because it's AIDS. No, I mean I didn't even drop your name. Yeah, yeah. I, I told his oh, ass. No. I, I told him. Oh like, yeah, I know. I know. I, yeah, I said I might know some about Musha, but I, I ain't dropping no names. Like I, I gotta ask. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, you you my homie. You know what I'm saying? Like uh. Just in case, like, I know you getting a little, like, you think I'm thinking something, but trust me, I ain't like that. I fuck with you, bro. The fuck you talking I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna do right by me, Ty shit, you know what I'm saying? You get. All right, Tucky, all right. Uh, hey, listen, yeah. by the way, who you voting for Sheriff? Uh, I kind of want to vote for Viv. I'm going to keep it real. I didn't hear Bones out. Are you but... fucking high? Are you... What the fuck? Are you... Well, who Viv. you vote for? Bones, wait, man. Bones. Wood. No, Bones got a win, bro. Bones got... If Bo... if wait, Bo... so what's... Wait, wait. Tell me about Bones, because I wasn't at the meeting type shit, bro. Listen, I've known Bones for a long time. You know, he he's arrested me a few times. I've dealt with all him. Right. All he, right. Like, he's not like the other cops. Like, for example, Cornwood would shoot you for goddamn soon a turbo. I agree. Yeah. And, well, and... fucking Cornwood... The kind of motherfucker that like, I mean, he the, wait, who did he blast? He bought blast like Zakid or some shit, yeah, he right? Blasts Zakid. Like, yeah. yo, I think I think I see a gun. Let me shoot him, and then be like, oh my god, why why you mad type shit? Like, bro, like motherfucker, you try to kill someone. I also ain't gonna vote for slacks, yo. Me, Kane, and Rami, like uh, like Rami's like, yo, we down at the uh the fucking tequila la whatever with slacks type shit. I go down there and he yapping. He's like, yo, dude, kumbaya type shit. And I asked him straight up, I'm like, how are you going to say, like, you got all the answers when your dumb ass was the top of the ladder for this entire time child shit and the PD keep getting worse? That's what and then I go, yeah. I go, what did you think about, like, when I won the court case when you shot me? Do you think that you shouldn't have done that? And he's like, yabba dabba do type shit. And I walked out. I'm like, fuck that dude. So I'm with you, bro. I just don't know what, 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 like, so you're saying Bones is like a real one type shit? Uh, so listen, how about this? Are, are you busy right now or not? Uh, yeah, we can link. What's okay, up? Okay, yeah, so let's link. Look, you can speak to Bones, and then after you speak to oh, Bones... Oh, shit. He, I... Yeah, he paid me. Basically, I got a plan to try to help him win the campaign. But obviously, I want you to speak to him first so you can see, like, his, uh, you know, the direction that he's trying to all take right. and all that type of shit. But I got a plan. All right, so let's link up somewhere. Uh, just come, to, right. come to the house. I'll pick you up. All right, bet, bet. Uh, or do you want to link somewhere? I'm in a vehicle. I got to go do some shit, like, in 20-minute type shit. Okay, where do you want me to link you? Like, where you... Where you uh, going? wherever. Like, like wherever we want to meet Bones or like maybe Weasel News. About Weasel News. I go to Weasel News then. Go to Weasel News. I right, let him. Sam bit. Baby. Oh, nah. Yo, just that motherfucker right there, bro. Yeah, that's Bones right there with an American flag on his head, bro. Uh, yep. Fuck it. I vote for you, sure. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank AK. You, Var. Can I vote right now, or? No. At ten Tomorrow, at this time, you'll be able to vote because I know you're not going to be able okay. to you're not gonna be awake whenever the polls go live. Yeah, I'll do it. No problem. All right, All right I'm gonna peace out. Thank good you. To see you guys. Thank you. Good to, good see, to you see you too. AK. Please. If you need anything, Have call me. All right. Yep. All right, Tugs. What's up, dude? What's Yo, up? Side Dick. You ready for the hard hitting questions? Absolutely. Do you want? Uh, do you want us? Do you? Do you want to hear our campaign first or? What nah, I got questions for okay. you. Cause like, I mean, listen, I've been in the campaign field and all that, so all right. I know like. More fucking politician. They be talking all that kind of bullshit type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not really the politician, but I'll give you. I'll I give mean, you the answers. I mean, you is because you out here type shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, but I ain't so, gonna lie to you. Uh, well, I well, I mean, okay, I. Uh, so like, who? Where? Where did this dude with the beanie come through? Because I went around yesterday at the yellow deck, so I don't know what you told the boys and all that. So, I, right now, shift one is lacking high command. Well, who that? Uh, who that right there in the beanie tie shit? Oh, this is Cassidy, Leon Cassidy. You oh, might know him as Crash City on the Cassidy. streets. Uh, I'm gonna start with you. So you were given the responsibility by Bibi and Gray to look into a matter in which oh god, a police officer oh god watched a lady mechanic lady pull a knife on me, and then she pulled a oh, gun no. out on me, 
and then got in her whip and drove off type shit. What happened with that? Uh, I did everything that I was supposed to do. I Why did not get a follow up? Uh, I did all the investigations at that point. Uh, at that time, I was a senior officer. I looked into it. I took statements. I made a report and I pushed it up. So what were the conclusion? Oh God! Uh, the conclusion. Be... Well, I don't know. The command handled that. I wasn't commanded. That no, I mean now like I what happened? What what happened in that investigation, Ty? Shit, bro. Well, I can't really go deep into it. I well, can't you can't because it involved me, dude. Yeah, but I can't go into like inter PD stuff, right? I uh, I looked into it. I took statements from several mechanics well, so uh, next... as well as the officer there. Uh, they left because there was an emergency. Who was the officer name? Quickly. I, I can't. I mean, you can well, you can. I was the one. Uh, yeah, yeah I was the, the one. Was Char who? Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, so what Charlie. happened to Charlie after she pulled a gun out on me and left me with someone holding me up at gun at that point? <laughs> oh, hold on now. While I was working my tow trucking job. Oh, hold on now. Uh, that's not the statements that we received. Uh, that's what you said, but the rest of the statements. Well, I can tell you that's exactly that. what happened, Ty. Shit. Yeah, I I understand that, but so you're you saying know, the officer every... say something else? Uh, what oh, the, God. Uh, the officer did not see you getting held up with a knife. Oh, God. Oh, so why did she pull a gun on me? Because uh, she thought you were going to steal her turbo. Why? Uh, because there was a previous incident. And she yeah. had uh, some trauma from an incident that happened at Mosley's. Uh, a couple Yo, so days prior that she had to work. For j -Dub, what the fuck is wrong so with So she had trauma at Mosley's, so she pulled a gun on me. Why did she pull the gun on me? I just, I, I already answered the question. I, she was, she believed that she was in threat because she was by herself. Yeah, but why so she me? She pulled her gun. Because she, she said that you had a knife. I didn't have the knife. Well, she said that she thought you had a weapon. The lady who pulled the knife on me that she stood next to had the See, weapon. Listen, Tugs, with all respect, you know, I wasn't yeah. there. And this was two months ago, and I'm just going yeah, but you led the, the investigation that I took. You led to the investigation, so that's yeah, why I'm I led the kinda... investigation. And I, like I said, I took statements from all the parties involved, and that's all we can really do, right? Because we don't is have she cameras. getting a psychological evaluation for she, her she was, PTSD at Mosley. She, yeah. she had to, there was a talk with her, uh, and oh, she God. did everything that she needed to do so that she could get past the trauma that she previously had from Mosley. So this particular incident that took place, you said you did her thing and then you gave it to command would it would have been Bibi and Gway who took the complaint originally. You telling me that so she fucked up or oh shit. Well <clears throat> way to go, Cassidy. Damn, Cassidy, you fucked him up, what man. What the fuck is happening, Peanut? Listen, I don't. Why is this guy I don't. I don't. Me? I don't I having three months listen, listen. I don't even listen. fucking remember. Okay, what hold on, hold on. Listen. To be fair, all right, Tugs. He gets into this shit a lot. You know what I'm saying? He just wants to know what type of person you is. If yeah, but I don't want to be accusatory on him either. But a lot of the statement, statements we took said that he blocked the fucking exit with his tow truck and then approached Charlie. So she pulled out her gun and never pointed it at him. Okay. So, like, right. I don't really know. What listen, I, I listen. don't want to just shit on him, though, and be like, well, you were the aggressor. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to be nice. Now, hold he's on now. Pressing. Listen, he's only 19. You know, he's a, he's a little guy. Yeah, he's, he's he's only 19. yeah, he's a fucking kid. Take it easy on him, bro. What, are you going to bully the guy? Are you going to give him a fucking no, wedgie? I'm not bullying. Are you going to give him a wedgie? Yeah, do all right, don't, don't get to do the wedgie now. You he's 19, bro. 19? Yeah. I just want some reassurance here. Exactly, but just, you know, just talk to him. You know, answer his questions. And he's going to help me out with, you know, what I told you about. We're gonna get like three different videos of you bones. I'm telling you, they're gonna go viral. All right. All right. I you know gonna, you I get know. hella votes the, with this shit. The big thing is just getting people to vote tomorrow and the next day and the like next Cassidy, day. What do you the think default vote. How many how many, how many days does that shit run? A week. It's so fucked. It's a, it's a week. It's, it's be scared, be tough. Man. Exactly, glory. Exactly. Oh, you said Little a week. Tugs is a week. Listen, with <laughs> Little Tugs has only lied to me every single time I've ever had a conversation. with See, but 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 why you think he lying? Is see, are you sure he lying, or he just nineteen? Yeah, I think. He, I mean, he might be immature and he's lying because he's nineteen, but he is lying. Who didn't lie when they were nineteen? Yeah, like, can you blame the dude? Is nineteen? He probably not even lying. He don't even know he's that he's nineteen, lying. dude. Come on. Yeah, like he don't even. His why are you picking on a nineteen year old guy, Cassidy? Are you trying I'm to? I'm not be... picking on. I'm literally not. He's I'm nineteen, trying to be nice. bro. I'm Yo, what are you gonna do next? You gonna fucking shove him in a locker? You gonna? You gonna? No, of course not. I let him go the other day from a scene when we were getting shot at because he wasn't involved. Like, 
I'm not. I don't hold any ill will towards He's them. Literally 19, man. The Cassie, guys just come got on, out of dude. High school. Remember yeah. what you were doing when you got out of high school? Yeah, I bet you were like in the fucking bathroom getting your shit fucking. I was getting. I bet. I, what? Oh, hold on now. I was getting what, Peter? Man, I already know your ass got. Mm. I ain't even gonna say too much. I, you know, I was actually prom king in high school. Man, no, the fuck you wasn't. Who you lying to? Yes, I was. I actually was. Who you lying to, man? I'm not lying. I will listen. Just uh, let's Hello. wait till you. Yeah. Hi. Hey, Carly. Hi. Hi, how you doing? How are you? We're doing good. Good. I'm. When do you like, like voting open? Tonight at 10 is the estimate, but it could be. Subject to change whenever the, whenever the town hall. I was gonna say he got his head shoved in the water stall, but I forgot how to say it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be really okay. late. Do you know like how long does it go to? A week. So yeah. next okay. next Tuesday. We're doing yeah, a concert tonight time. though. Mm -hmm. oh, At nine forty five, right before it. I swear, yep. yeah. He's getting his head shoved in the fucking yeah, urinal. <sighs> urinal. Earlier, how the fuck you say it? They have a choice, unfortunately. Yeah. Usually go to bed around like. 5 p.m. EST, so... Ooh. Well, I'll be there in spirit. Okay. Right, I appreciate it, Carly. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Have a good day. You too. You be too. safe. And so when does this shit open? At the snow? Uh, no. It's like 10 EST. 10 Jesus PM. Christ. All right. You'll be awake? Oh, uh, I mean, probably tomorrow. I'll, I'll vote for you tomorrow. Okay. Big, the big day... The big thing is just getting those early votes. Uh, yo, hey, Tuggy. Wait, hold up. I don't see nothing. <laughs> yeah, he only 19. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. He's just 19, Cassidy. Yeah, where? Wait, is Cassidy? Oh, there we go. Hello. City slowly What's up, coming dude? into fruition. All right, so where I left off is, so what I was asking was, <laughs> uh, you concluded What's up, Flory? investigation. So where, so you saying that Vivian was supposed to handle it or were you supposed to handle it? No, based on the investigation uh, and the statements that I took uh, from the people that were there, uh, we did have a chat with Charlie uh, due to the fact that it seemed like she had some trauma that she needed to work through based on a situation that happened there prior. We made sure that she got the help that she needed, and that's that, that was the end of the investigation. Why was she left allowed to remain on duty while having trauma that caused her to pull a gun on a civilian? Again, uh, so Tugs, uh, based on yeah. a lot of the statements that we took, uh, when you arrive there, your tow truck blocked the exit. Uh, you mean, and you try approach to enter people? The, Listen, so I, let, it sounds like you're a man I got, I got, oh God. I got questions for you. I, I, I like, I know you want to go easy and just be like, "Listen, you know that you get that's how you get your repair for a tow truck, right?" Yes, Tugs, I, I know so, how it works. All right, so why are you using the phraseology? that I was blocking it when I'm going to Mosley's for repair on she was she again because she was under the impression so digging had uh based on previous situations Bro's getting cooked by a 19 year old with, with just random people yes so if anyone had gone to Mosley's she would actually if, the same. if anybody blocked the door with the tow truck and then started approaching them uh I believe she, she would have acted me. the same regardless If you had to recircle on this investigation, oh my would God. you do so given new information that came to light? There's no more, there's no new information to be gathered, Doug. So as a part of your investigation, did you decide, did you approach me at all? No, we did not. And why is that? We already had a statement. But we're, you were the lead investigator, no? Uh, yeah, but we already had a statement. So I all right, thank you, sir. Seemed like I needed to take uh, another one. Mr. Bones, we already had one from you. what is... Hello. Cassidy role in your uh, campaign. Oh, you would no. be my under sheriff. Oh shit. Oh god. If you got information that your under sheriff did a shit job on an investigation, how would you handle it? I would uh talk to him, figure out why what he's doing, why he did you know, try and pick his brain on what he did and why he did it. Uh and then if there's a person that's given a complaint, at least give them like reassurance that I talked to him. I think that's very important. <clears throat> Can I give follow-ups? Wait, Joel's not around on, today, Chuck? Uh, Cassidy.
slapped in slacks, opening fire on an unarmed suspect, losing in court, and then screaming at the judge. My boy Zolo's and, not around uh, today. About how Tennessee versus uh, gardening work or whatever, dude. I don't think screaming at the judge is necessarily the the best way to go about it. I think if he had a problem with the result, then he can try and appeal it. Uh, there is an appeal system in place. Uh, you should go through that because screaming at that judge isn't going to Three do weeks vacation? Do you believe uh, the gardening law let you open fire on people that are unarmed? Uh, Tennessee versus Garner make sure that it includes that they are still armed and dangerous. So if they're not armed and dangerous, then you shouldn't be opening fire on them. Are you going to handle a captain that don't know that what you just said? I think if a captain doesn't know Tennessee versus Garner, they should be probably demoted or at least talked to and try and figure out their articulation behind uh, why they shot. What if I were to tell you that Slack still believes that that is the case? Well, I need to hear his that? articulation because he, he may be able to articulate why he did it and his reasoning behind it. And that, as, I think a lot of uh, a lot of officers need to operate in good faith. And if that's you know being maintained, then it's very important. Okay, I respect that. So let's say he don't understand that, and that's still a problem. How would you handle a captain as sheriff? Um, I mean, how would I handle like any person that is like in a, in a yeah, he is doing a concert a today, right? What's up, MJ? They're, they're completely wrong in their ideology. It, that stuff's gonna trickle down quick. It is, it is going to trickle down really, really fast into your officers and your deputies if you don't smash it quick. So, I would talk to him. Uh, figure it out. Up, put a stop to him. Be like, hey, you have you you can't be doing stuff like this, or else from there on, if it keeps on happening, I'm gonna have to you know request a motion because he's the leader in the department. You you cannot, you you absolutely cannot be leading it the wrong way, especially whenever it comes to like shooting innocent people. What are your thoughts on officers opening fire on individuals with the belief that they might have a gun? Uh, is there facts or evidence? That, they just kind of assuming it might be. Then that's wrong. And how would you handle those kind of circumstances? Uh, punishment. I would encourage, uh, like, I, I would talk to the every side first off, and then if there's a, a complaint or something, because most of the, most of these situations are are situations that I'm not going to be able to see with my own two eyes, right? It's going to be I'm getting I'm doing reports. good. I'm how you doing, brother? So I would talk to the person that is actually doing the report, um, actually hear them out, and then talk to every single officer involved question them on things question their you know their thinking i think the biggest thing that's not happening right now is people need to question i guess the thoughts behind why these people are doing these things and not necessarily tell them like hey why'd you do this but just be like hey what did you do in this situation do you think you could have done anything better stuff like that uh is very important just hearing people's thoughts or getting their perspective is very important chat i don't have that why are you but guys also while, while I'm talking you officers, guys keep saying ads chat i don't even run that many ads the individual that put up the report and had the complaint and making sure that they are you know i guess approached with it and kept in touch with what's going on in my investigation to ensure that they know that they you know their complaint is taken seriously what are your thoughts about the handling of the circum? Are you familiar with what happened to Mr. K at Mosley's about two and a half months ago? Um, are you talking about the den situation? Uh, the situation in which uh, individuals, I believe, opened fire on him, and they were let allowed to leave. No, I'm, I'm not aware of this. I got you. Uh, what are your thoughts on? uh officers who are putting the life of hostages at risk uh by treating a maze bank like it's a flicker uh i think the maze bank is is a very tough bank to try and you know understand and i think it's like a i think part of that i think hostages in you know, hostage negotiations should always be taken seriously no matter what and and that hostage is the number i number one priority however i think in some cases um Tensions are high, and it's a lot. It's it's kind of growing pains because we've never had a. a Wait, a Twitch bank is running ads on my bank where there's like three exits, Wait, four exits, and we're trying to maintain not getting, I guess. Um, walked I don't want to dive I into like I ain't really concerned on how like you handle that. I'm more mm -hmm. asking about the hostage. Is that is it more important in your mind to protect the hostage, absolutely, or, or catch a criminal at all cost, Taishi? 
absolutely protect the hostage. I mean, if we if we save that hostage, that's more than anything that we're going to get, whenever, whether it comes to sending somebody to jail. What, what is that going to gain? They're going to get out. They're going to do the same thing again, right? But if, they, if that hostage dies, they're never going to have the opportunity to do that again. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Cassidy, what's your thoughts on, like, the, the, the shit that was happening where officers were trying to claim that if you got roll bills and, like, or you got money on orders on you that you must be doing money laundering, bro. Mm, what do you mean by that? There were motherfuckers getting caught with, found with money orders, and there was assumption of a crime being taking place. Mm, our, well, I think there was a lot of growing pains with that. Our money orders is marked illegally, though? was off. Um, I think uh, stuff was brought to the DOJ, and choices were made that were retracted. Well, I'm asking uh, as you need. as an officer. Oh, not anymore? No, I mean, oh, the, shit. I thought they obviously, were. Obviously, not everybody we speak to, and that's some, that's one of our driving factors about the department that we're trying to make, is that not everybody we speak to is, is, a, is a suspect, right? We, when you not, find someone with money orders, what's your first assumption? Uh, that they have money orders on them. The ones that we're supposed to be confiscating, they're marked for seizure. Prior to them being marked as seizure. But just money orders is not enough to show that you're doing anything illegal. Money orders are very legal. It's what you do with those money orders that make it illegal and make it money laundering. And so what are your thoughts when officers were going well above and beyond just assuming a bunch of How many fucking questions is Tugs and Ass? Uh, again, that, that's, never, uh, that's never our intention. Uh, at least for me and Bones. And that's what we're trying to build with this new department. When, when you speak to somebody, we're not just... Every time you speak to somebody... Uh, we're not just trying to fuck them over or find a reason to arrest them, right? Uh, we both right, yeah. be able to have Tugs is a fucking over-informed an voter. There. And, <laughs> Invested uh, voter. Bones has said it, like, we don't want to militarize police where everything we're doing is just trying to find He's an a informed reason voter. to put somebody in prison. That's not what we plan to do. Uh, and so you get, ain't gonna get off, you try, you're gonna make sure you ain't getting officers that act like that? See them all fucking money order, they think they solve an investigation type shit? We will make um, sure that our officers know what RS and PC is. Yeah. We so what we were planning on doing in the field, he's gonna be handling the interdepartmental stuff. Oh god, they're gonna be out there. I am a Yo make it digging. Look I look here's the picture. Here's the picture right here. Uh, so uh is we, we we good here or what's going on guys? Everything good? Oh yeah, yeah, we good, we good right now. I'm just trying to I'm evaluating right right now. Like right now, dude. It, uh what are your thoughts on getting a different undersheriff? Uh, I'm like pretty hard set on, win, on on Cassidy. And what if that would win you that campaign? Oh my God, bro! I I think Cassidy's going to help me win the campaign. I I, I also think he's the right pick for undersheriff. I got you. And Cassidy, if you thought if you thought Bones could win the campaign with a different undersheriff and would be better for the department he's trying to build, would you take that option? Or would you? Uh, Step aside. Uh, it's something I would consider. Thank you, Diggy. I appreciate I do think you. That we work together well, and I believe uh, the fact that we are running as a tandem has garnered us a lot of votes. Oh shit! All right. Okay. All right, Tugs, can we step aside real quick? Just real quick. Tugs. Oh yeah, we yeah yeah. I got one more question, Tugs. Oh, uh, all right, man. All right. All right. How much uh, for me to vote for you? I'm not paying you for an individual vote that's voter fraud yeah and what about if i can get you 50 votes it oh doesn't god. matter i'll lose before i get charged with a felony oh my god tugs vote. what is this dude doing what are your thoughts on stolen turbos don't really care too much Man, tuggy, tuggy. You tuggy. I, i've had tuggy. i've had a million stolen from me you think that appropriate uh, i mean if, if there was PC, then charges would be pressed Wait, what and if the charges weren't pressed over. and i keep getting harassed and I mean, like, I got evidence, which I can show you, in which he keeps on proliferating that information. Bro, what the fuck is happening here? None of that. No evidence pointing at that. Well, how would you handle a situation like that? Tell him to knock it off. Or else. I mean, if he's not listening to me, that's, that's kind of how, you know, we have situations that we can go and uh, handle that. Uh, uh, thank you, Bones. I appreciate it. Cassidy, you all right? And, uh, so, Mr. Judge, dude, I'm pretty sure what you're doing illegal, but, you know. 
Hey, thanks, Tugs. I never thought about it. Uh, yo, Tuggy, you so uh, it. are you voting for this dude or not? He's a smart little guy. Nah, I'm voting for uh, Vivian, bro. Motherfucker, what? What do you mean you voted for? Why are you voting for? You know Vivian Gray is a cop that fucked over Mr. Mr. K, right? You voted for the ops. Nah, nah, Peanut. I'm voting for whoever K want to vote for. I mean, it don't matter at the end of the day. I'm only kidding about that bit. Wait, this ain't my vehicle. So you are voting for Vivian or are you not? Nah, I'm voting for whoever K vote for, bro. We vote as Chang Gang, bro. Yeah, I think we voted for Bones, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if K make up his mind yet. I mean, didn't. I mean, listen, if K say vote Bones, if he say vote Conwood, he say, like, don't vote, I'm gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just pressing these guys so I got it all on tape. So, like, let's say he say we don't vote for Bones, I'm gonna expose all it. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting all the dirt. So, like, whoever we want to vote on, I'm gonna put out the dirt on or, or everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense and shit. Like, yesterday, like, I got Conwood thinking I'm gonna vote for his ass. And then I started fucking with him and shit, dude. Cause I know we mm. even go for his ad, bro. Oh, hey, I mean that's why I'm, I'm on that DB and shit, dude. That's why I'm saying process of the elimination, bro. Like Cornwood, yeah. Vivian, Slacks. We not voting for those motherfuckers. The only one that we got left is Bob. I mean, I don't know about that. K seemed like he was all right with bit. Like I listen, I'll throw it like this, all right? Like I'm keeping a buck, all right? Like you got your experiences with these guys, I got mine. Bones, like I fuck with. Cassidy, I think he is straight dumbass and like the whole situation with me getting held up by a cop and all that, he didn't do shit about it. So I got a problem with that. Vivian was the only one that actually listened to all that and she might have fucked up, but like at least she got the balls to like slap a fucking cop down if they doing stupid shit. Cornwood, Slacks, they too dumb to be in that position. They ain't gonna fuck us in the ass, so... As far as I'm concerned, it's either him or Bibian, but at the end of the day, it's on K, bro. All right. Uh, sounds good, man. Sounds good. I appreciate your touch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, listen. I'm a listen. I'm gonna go get every, what everything. What the fuck is I, happening? I, I, I don't know, man. I didn't know that Tug was about to come down here and ask two thousand million fucking questions and yap her ear off. I could have been campaigning. This okay. Well, well, well listen, man. Listen. I, you know, don't worry. We'll, I, we'll fix okay. this. All right, I'm gonna go sign in for Weasel News, and I'll call you. I'll tell you where okay. to go. All right. I gotta, I gotta return people's phone calls. I gotta All right, no problem, man. I'll, I'm gonna call you in a little bit. Make sure you answer my call. Kid, yeah, he's only 19, man. He's only 19. Come on now, don't take it hard on him. 